Right, you guys, how are we? What is going on? And welcome back to another Marshawn Lynch video. I never thought this day would come. I thought I was having a dream when I read that Marshawn Lynch has been brought back for the last game of the season plus the playoffs. Oh my god, I cannot wait to watch this. But what we've got to do first, because he's playing this weekend, is watch what the other journalists in the field have to say. I want to see what their opinion is. There's always this one thing thrown out about this one yard. When you're one yard out, you don't give it to Marshall Lynch, or maybe you do, or maybe they didn't when they should have. Something happened. I don't know exactly what happened back then, but that's something that always seems to be brought up. Now, I assume we're probably going to hear something about that. So hopefully I'll be able to put two and two together finally. But with that being said, let's get into it. Shannon report. The Seahawks have re-signed Marshawn Lynch. I've wanted to watch this video for at least 48 hours. We're doing it together. Let's go. Deal to return to the Seahawks after Seattle lost running backs at Chris Carson and CJ Procise for the season. Marshawn hasn't played since week six of last season. And when asked why oh, no, he not this run. to return to Seattle, Marshawn said he'd quote, well, we got history. We got unfinished business. Shannon, how much impact will Marshawn? That run was, was absolutely ridiculous. And I actually didn't realize that he played last season. I thought he'd retired. But he didn't play after week six last season. And just before we go on, I want to know why. Did he get injured? Or did he get dropped? Let's have a look. Oh my gosh, look at all those Seahawks franchise records. As of 2018's NFL offseason, Marshawn Lynch held at least 19 Seahawks franchise records. Excuse me? <laughs> okay, so he played at Oakland, played for the Raiders, that's, that's, that's right, I, I actually cannot really remember seeing that. Six games, 376 rushing yards, 84 receiving yards. No fumbles. Three rushing touchdowns, no receiving touchdowns. Okay, what happened? Lynch returned to the Raiders' backfield for the 2018 season opener under new, ho new head coach John Gruden. He recorded a rushing touchdown in the first three games of the season against the Rams, Broncos, and Dolphins. In week four, he recorded 130 rushing yards in the 45-42 overtime victory over the Cleveland Browns. On October 22nd, Lynch was placed on injured reserve with a groin injury. Overall, he finished the 2018 season with 376 rushing yards, three rushing touchdowns in six games. After the 2018 season, Lynch's plans were not to play football again and retire. Okay, so he didn't retire, effectively. And on December 23rd, 2019, after Seattle lost three running backs to injury, Lynch returns. And I can't fucking wait. Let's get into this. Skip, I, I, I think you'll be serviceable. I'm not skip, skip, that. skip. Can I just stop you there? Can I just interrupt you there, Skip? Big impact. Don't think the guy's going to jump off his couch. i not playing all year and be Derrick Henry. He's not, he's not going to be that beast mode, Skip. Um, but considering what they're up against, they lost their top three backs. So what do they do? They go out and sign guys that are familiar with that system. They sign Robert Turbin. They also bring Beast Mode back. Now, Skip, look, I, and I hate saying this, and I don't want anybody to, to miss... One other thing I need to check. How old is Beast Mode? 33. He's all good. He's only 33. He's all good. This position to, to transition or just get up off your couch and go play is the running back position. I agree. And I hate saying that. I agree. I agree. Let me listen to that again. Listen, I don't want anybody to, to misconstrue this, but I believe the easiest position to, to transition or just get up off your couch and go play is the running back. I position. agree. And I hate saying that because... If, I hate saying it too, but I do agree. Pro sports, there's nothing easy about pro sports. Yep. But Skip, I toss you the ball, you run to the hole. Yep. Get us 3.3 yards per carry, and we're good. It's not like I got to read coverage or anything. If the hole is there, you run through it. Why do rookies <laughs> just break right out? And break exactly. exactly. And, so, and so I believe he'll be serviceable. But if you expect him to come off his couch and run like Derrick Henry, no, I, I don't expect that, Skip. Mm -hmm. But he no Well, he's going to have the same strength. He's going to have the same jump cut. I don't know about that breakaway speed, but with his center of gravity, his legs literally don't go up and down like that. When he's running, they go out. <laughs> they go out like this, like a fucking I don't know what it is, but his legs his 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 um his base, you know, his center of gravity is very low and it seems his base is quite wide. So to try and bring someone like that down, not easy. Knows the system, he's familiar, like you said, they have history. 
Um, it's re reported that after uh, Penny uh, tore his ACL, they brought Marshawn in, you know, when they say he was just visiting. Because that's it struck me as odd. Now, what's the likelihood of Marshawn Lynch getting his ass on a plane in Oakland, flying to Seattle, way to Seattle, just to visit? To visit. Check Marshawn it. ain't that type of dude, Skip. <laughs> me, I go visit the Broncos. Mm -hmm. Occasionally, I was going to visit the Ravens. But that's not that's not Marshawn's style. Yeah. So with and I was like, okay. So they say he's been, you know, working out the last couple of weeks, getting his yep. body used to taking on those kind of punishments, yep. uh, to take on those hits again. Now, he averaged 15 a carry his last year in Oakland. He averaged third, a little under 14 the previous year. So don't think Beast Mode's going to jump right back at this game. They're going to give 25 carries a day, a game. Mm -hmm. That's not where he is. But I think he could help. I mean, they got to have somebody, Skip. And you got to get somebody you don't really need. I try to bring someone in that doesn't know your system, and you got to coach him up. Okay, well, son, you got to do that. Marshawn is familiar with the system. Yep. So is Turbin. So I think he'll be serviceable, mm. serviceable yep. but I don't expect great things from him. Mm. I thought what you thought when I first heard the news, it was right at, near the end of our show <laughs> yeah. yesterday. I would have to be of the same opinion. I mean, how can you expect great things from this guy? How can you expect him to take 25 fucking touches like Barkley is at the moment or, you know, any of these younger running backs? You, you just can't. So if he gets 10 touches, you know, 50-odd yards, maybe a touchdown from 10 yards out, I'll be fucking happy. In fact, you showed it to me <laughs> yeah, in the yeah. last break. <sighs> I thought, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and then... I slept on it, uh -huh. and it started growing on me. And I got to tell you, I think this is a great pickup for them. I got to tell you, it's magical that he could be available, mm -hmm. and you could do blasts from the past. Mm -hmm. Because it's awesome. It's At the end of the day, it is awesome. It's another fantastic sporting story. Doesn't matter whether it's in the NFL, the fucking NRL, the AFL, which I don't like, which is Aussie rules, rugby, the Olympics. It doesn't matter. Sport is sport, and this is a fantastic story. Very cool that Beast Mode is back. Very mm -hmm. cool. The way Jenny started. Right? That's all you got to say. Right? Like, wow, yeah. wow, this is cool. This is cool, a whole new element to that. How the Lynch stole Christmas. Oh, who? Uh, that's fantastic. That is absolutely fantastic. How the Lynch stole Christmas. What a play on words. Who could be so smart to come up with that? End of the NFL season. Yeah. And you think he should have finished his career in Seattle? It was we a should have, way to end for him. And, and it ended the wrong way because of the the choice to throw the ball instead of hand the oh. ball off on that final offensive play of that Super Bowl in which Brady and company survived. And they never overcame. Okay? And they never it split that team in half. It split them right down the middle. Legion of Boom versus Pete Carroll and that is the incident we're talking about, and that was Super Bowl forty nine. And Daryl Bevel and Russell, and it put Russell in a bad spot. And finally, they just had to completely clean house to protect Russell Wilson. Right. Because. Damn, man. Oh, I don't even want to see that. I don't even want to watch. I'm so glad I didn't watch. That's horrible. It was too much animosity right. building, mm -hmm. too much resentment yep. across the locker room, yep. right? Yep. So to me, I look at Marshawn. Okay, he's only 33, and you can say that's old for a running back. Ah, oh, damn. Quick slant with five yards out, man. Back, but look at what he's done the last four. Look at, oh, that's agony. It's absolute, just disgust, agony on that man's face. Is that Richard Sherman? Football seasons. He's played a grand oh. total of 21 games in four years because he sat out two full years. Right. One before he went back to Oakland. Right. And then he had one big carry season, and one he just played in only six games his final season, two seasons back. Correct. So now he's been on his couch. I have no idea if he works out. I'm going to guess, because he loves his Skittles, that he's not a big <laughs> yeah. workout warrior. Yeah, yeah he doesn't strike me as a guy skipping and going on Equinox get every day, season. getting it in. Now, maybe once he decided, like, hold on, this might be a real option. Maybe he started going back and, and working out. Well, the, his longtime trainer, that Tariq Azim, mm. told Tom Pelissero, NFL.com, um, that that they went into two-a-days. They've done two-a-days for eight straight days, uh -huh. knowing this could be Probably coming. Happen, yeah. And if we could see the video, he did a, a quickness video, you know. Ooh, this should be interesting. What's he gonna say? A foot drill. He got better feet for a man to that side than you think. That looks, yeah. Ooh, ba -ba bang Pretty good. Looks yeah, pretty good. Mm -hmm. Does it mean he can be a big factor? Maybe not, but again, kick. listen, 
This guy, you know it. Beast mode's back, baby. I know it. He was born with some charisma, physical and yeah. in yeah. sort of presence charisma, right? Yeah. And, and Skip, his mindset is his mindset is to run through a Joker's face. That is correct. That's his mindset. His mindset ain't trying to low, let me outrun you and run out of bounds. He's not running out of bounds now. No. And by the way, well, if that's the case, then we should expect him to just come off the couch and play well. Just for posterity's sake, just for good old time's sake, can we see the birth of Beast Mode in that playoff game? <laughs> Let's do it. Let, we got to see it just once because this is obviously all time, all time. <laughs> Beast Quake, baby. How many tackles get One, right two, oh, three, three, four, four five. You're five, out of here. Five. Get oh, off oh. me. Get off That's me. Like like, Six. I don't want no more of that. Seven. He stepped on Tracy Porter. Tracy Porter got up like, no, nah, I'm done. <laughs> That's so good. <laughs> this, really? This is just Let's watch what happens to that guy after he gets stiff armed. Time, I think Seattle was what, only 7 and 9 at that yep. point as a player? So I might have been 7 8 and 1. 7 8 and 1, yeah. Bro, he. Oh! 22 could have stopped him. If he had got up, kept running, he could have got him again. But he literally didn't want any part of it. Oh, man. Another good call, Skip. Run similar to that against the Cardinals, Skip. No, his name's not Skip, his name's Shannon. Whoops. <laughs> The earth moved it up did. in Seattle. It did. Okay. Can he do that now? Probably not. Right. <laughs> no, it's not. Skip Shannon. What's this other guy's name? I can't remember. <laughs> Fuck, I'm an idiot. Shannon Report. Skip and Shannon. Skip Shannon? What are their real names? Skip and Shannon names. Skip Bayless. Shannon Sharp. Skip Bayless and Shannon Sharp. Who is Skip Bayless? We've got to find out. American sports columnist, author, and television personality. Okay, so he's a journalist. Skip Bayless, and then we've got Shannon Sharp, and I'm assuming he was a player. Tight end for the Broncos, Ravens. He played 12 seasons. Damn. No, he played 12 seasons for the Broncos and two with the Ravens, winning three Super Bowls and finishing his career as the NFL's all-time leader in receptions, receiving yards and receiving touchdowns by a tight end. I was like, what? That's impossible. What about Tony Gonzalez? Until Tony Gonzalez surpassed all three of those records. Damn, man. Six foot two. Tight end. I'd love to see him play, to be honest. I really would. I really would, but we're not going to right now. Although, now I know what position he played, and I know that he is a fucking record holder. Third and third all time receiving yards by a fucking tight end under Tony Gonzalez and someone else. What a legend. Did he give you a ten yard run that would sort of approximate that? He yep. probably could. Yep. I think the locker room is going to be reinvigorated. I think it's gonna be Hell yeah. for the young players to have him walk in. Because even though he doesn't talk to us, I'm just here so I don't get fined. Right, right. But you know what? He'll talk. No, I don't know. He, yeah. He, he is a leader by by just sort of by birth, like he was yeah. a born leader. Skip. No one generated the buzz or got the sideline up like he did when he ran the football. Did you see the defense? How they're standing and they watching? Did you see how the crowd? I mean, Russell Wilson throwing a touchdown. That's great. But when that rascal there started rambling yep. and shoving people to the side, nothing got that 12th man going like he could. Right. Nothing got that the Legion of Boom going like he could. Nothing. So how how great was it that they could just say, hey, how about him? Right. Because you lost three running backs. The, the injury <laughs> gods are not on your yeah, side. Yeah, yeah. It, it, it's right? like... What if we do? What if we? You skip. You talk about. I had that doll on your quarterback. Yeah. Oh. Somebody had a doll. Had a, a doll house. Somebody had a full of dolls. Three. All three of your. All, your, so all three of your running backs. All skip. three. But in charisma, none of those. No, three, no, 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 You no, could no, throw no. them all together, mm -hmm. and they don't equal mm -hmm. this guy. No. And at 33, I still think he'll have some punch to him. Yeah. Where I, I think he will. He'll re jumpstart this football yeah. team. I think they will be a factor. I, I give them a good shot to beat the 49ers. And if they do, you do. they're good. Mm. And they're back on track. Right. And then I think he could, it, it could be one of those magic late season moves where it's because of Beast Mode's presence. Mm. 
I don't, I don't, I don't think they're going to beat the 49ers. I think the no. 49ers are going to be the number one seed, and I think the uh, the pack will be the number two seed. Okay. What a game! You love Russell Wilson, though. I do. Yeah. But uh, hmm, he didn't look good. He didn't look good Sunday, Skip. He's had a couple of bad games. Yeah, he, uh, coming down the stretch. Yeah. yeah. And uh, um, even even after uh, Kyler went out, uh, Hundley came in and was able to hold the fort together because they couldn't stop the run. Well, if you can't stop Arizona, you know 49ers can run it. They got a three-headed monster that racks up favorable against anybody other than Baltimore. You don't think they were? Who's that? Were looking ahead to the 49ers? Well, mm, mm. maybe so. That could but be. It, Kyle Shanahan will have him ready to go. I know, I know. I played for his dad, Mike. They'll be ready to play. Okay. Uh, Lynch, I don't know. Could be good. He had Welcome 376. Welcome back, Marshawn. It's fine. Welcome back. Three TDs last year, yep. six games with Oakland. I mean, yep. you know, if he could get a couple touchdowns, it can't hurt. It would work. Fucking hell, it's going to be awesome. It can't hurt. It's going to be fun to watch. I like the highlights. I'm yeah, thanks. Finally. Appreciate it, guys. I really do. That was, that was a fantastic video. Um, we are now going to head over to the Pat McAfee Studios and hear what he has to say. I see that he's partnered with DAZN. That is huge, bruss. That is massive. DAZN. Subscription service, $99 a, a year. You get all of the uh, DAZN fights, pay-per-view cards, and apparently you get uh, Pat McAfee show as well. So with that being said, guys, I'll see you soon. I really want to hear what McAfee has to say, actually. He's got a great personality, a great view on things, being a, an ex-player. And, um, well, I'll see you then, guys. If you've enjoyed this video, if you can't wait to see Marshall Lynch back in action, hit the like button, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.